What's up guys, Waggy2709 here, back with a different type of video, this is about a new magazine that has started coming out, about Assassin's Creed collection. Each magazine comes with a magazine itself full of information and a little figure, and I will go through each bi-weekly magazine installment and post it on the channel and go through the what's in the magazine, including obviously the figurine and everything else that's included. So for now I shall put the, mag put the figurine to one side, crack on with the magazine. Another figurine is probably the more exciting part, but I thought I'd talk about the magazine first just to get it over with. The uh, Assassin's Creed collection, as you can see it's the official collection, is issue number one. And obviously, as you can tell, it's, but this one is focused on Altier. The magazine is full of lots of graphics, lots of information. Um, as you can tell, it gives you a little crate listing of what is installed. You talk about the, your Altier figurine, character profile, friends and enemies. Assassin's abilities, mythology, weapon and equipment, and environment. Uh, obviously, in the character profile, it gives you a little, little look into the sort of what's fe what's featured on the figurine itself. Um, focus on his face, and it always talks. Obviously, he's eagle vision. as well what eagle vision is. Um, that he has the hidden blade, the sword of Altier. That is specific. Uh, assassin robes, obviously if you're familiar with the game you know that each assassin has its own robes style um, and also it explains that he used to do parkour oh, but we all know that anyway now this is more of a in-depth game oriented look at LTR talking about basically his upbringing his style of assassination and his one of his specific traits, which was using the Eagle Vision, which although I know was taken onto other Assassin games, obviously the first one that was quite important. Then you go on to you go into the end, friends and enemies section. This one talks about your main. It was like the Assassin's leader. Uh, I'm not gonna pronounce his name because I'm gonna I'm gonna batch that up so much. It's um, Al Muralim. Probably just completely just ruined that name. Um, and then obviously these are all enemies, these are the Templar targets um, which if you play the game you know these are the people that you assassinate in the game each one giving a quick description of who they were and basically why you went after them um, and why they were so bad etc. Nice little look and in depth at all the enemies This next section is the Assassin's Ability section for LTR in specific, it was about League of Faith, which again, if you played the first game, you knew how important League of Faith was. You'd climb the tallest building, you'd jump off the edge, as that picture, that picture shows. You jumped off the edge and then you landed in what was normally a pile of hay or whatever down at the bottom that kept you safe, that kept you alive. The next section is mythology. This uh, for this section for this ep for this issue, I should say. Can't speak today. This issue it focuses on the Assassin Brotherhood. Um, basically, talks you through basically why they were against the Templars and how all of the Templars were very prominent and very public about everything. It explains why they went against them. And also, quite interestingly, it talks about some real life assassins. And in this one, it just talks about the two Chinese assassins that kill people like Genghis Khan and Emperor Qin Sun, Qin Shi Huan. Again, probably said that all wrong. I do apologise, but yeah, which I found quite interesting. Obviously, this is back in the 13th century, so to speak. But again, it's very interesting to talk about. The next section is about the Hidden Blades, um, this goes through the different stages of the Hidden Blade. This is obviously in the Weapon and Equipment section. It talks about how, right at the beginning, it was a very simple, literally just a blade. And then later on, in the Renaissance, it talks about how it's that introduced like, a gun feature to it. Um, and how in the games they found LTS like sort of his design for the gun and then now he gets redone by Leonardo da Vinci. A poison dart, that's what I meant to say. Most poison dart effects. 
And then goes on to the modern times, which obviously you play as Damon in the game. Desmond, sorry, in the game. And it talks about how, how that's been redesigned from modern times and how it would how it plays in the modern era. The last section in says the Levant um, is the environment. It's basically the environment you play in the very first game with Altair. Um, you have the three main cities, you have the Mazif, Mazif, which is where the Assassin's Creed was based, that was starting location, that's where your leader was, everything like that. Then you had Jerusalem, Damascus and Acre, which were the three cities that you went out to where all the bad guys were, etc. Um, this is obviously this where you spent most of your game, travelling from each city, uh, going back and forth. Then on the back it just has a little preview on what's coming in the second issue. Obviously the next one we're going to be at Ezio Adare and giving you a preview of his statue. And obviously I will, as soon as I get that, I will bring that out to you. Before I go on, I have to subscribe to the magazines. Um, so obviously I will bring out each magazine as it comes to me. Um, I do get one monthly delivery of each magazine. Um, which has contains two issues, so I will split them into two videos, and I, but I will go fully through because each each issue, the very first one was three pound, which is obviously this one with Alta area. Second one is eight pounds. Then from then on, it's ten pounds every two weeks. The issues, so I understand that it's not obviously very affordable for everyone. So if you just want to know what each figure looks like and see what the magazines talk about, etc., come back and see my channel. If not, I will leave a description. I'll leave a link in the description where you can go onto the website and you can subscribe. Even if you collect the first, I don't know, four from the local news agents, you can still go on, select you want to subscribe from issue five, and they'll send them out as they release them for you. And as I'm a subscriber from the first one, um, they will be giving me free gifts. Um, sort of a there's a wallet. There's a little mug thing there's a figure stand and also a binder for all the magazines so as i get them i will obviously show them as well on my, on my channel so if you just want to come back and see more then i will show you everything so it's going to magazine this is how you get it from the um from the first issue all you do is slide off the back tip that over pop that off out. Excuse the plastic. Now is this is the figure in all its glory. It is very small, well, a couple inches size. I have probably, I don't know, medium sized hands, don't know. It's probably, probably just, maybe just a tad shorter than an average pop figure. Um, just give you a sort of size representation. As you can tell, it has his face fully, fully detailed, fully painted. All his little extras, his little throwing, his little throwing knives. His various daggers. His full dress robes, including obviously that hidden blade and Altia's sword itself. These are handcrafted and hand painted figurines. Obviously, he's got his name at the bottom. And at the bottom it has a little sticker there. Just saying obviously it is the official Ubisoft license collection. And what I'm presuming is a model number. Um yeah. So that is his figurine, fully painted, very accurate, looks very good in person. I'm hoping the camera shows this off. So that is the Altia figure, that is issue 1 of the Assassin's Creed collection. Again like I said there will be a link in the bottom, obviously this isn't sponsored in any way, there will be a link in the bottom for you if you wish to go to the website and subscribe yourself, if not, like I said as soon as I get the magazines I will be posting them on here with an in-depth look at the magazine and the figurine. If you like more of these videos, if you drop me a like button and a comment, um, then I know obviously you will like to see more stuff like this, I can do other collections. Uh, I will show the best as I can do. If you want to leave me a comment suggesting any other collections that you want, 
show and then I will I'll get right onto that. But for now guys, that's it for me. And I will see you guys in the next time. See you later.